The Office of the Auditor General is established under Article 187 of the 1992 Constitution and the person so appointed enjoys enshrined immunities, privileges and emoluments. These are further affirmed in the Audit Service Act 2000, Act 854. The Constitution clearly delineates the role of the Auditor General and his or her office duties in the tedious task of ensuring transparency, accountability and probity in public life. In furtherance of this, Clause 2 of Article 187 emphatically charges the Auditor General to audit and report on the country's public accounts and of all public offices, including the courts, central and local government administrations, public universities and institutions. This charge is further reinforced by subsection 1 of section 11 of the Audit Service Act. And the question of who audits the auditor is also eloquently answered by the supreme law of the land. According to clause 15 of article 187, only parliament reserves the authority to appoint an auditor to probe the books of the state accountability watchdog, not the president, not the audit service board, and certainly not the judiciary. This notwithstanding, the constitution also allows the president room to request the auditor general to audit the books of a public institution. This should, however, be exercised only in the public interest and with the advice of the council of state. The independence of the auditor general could not have been any more emphasized than it is in both the constitution and in act 854. The two make the auditor general immune to arbitrary dismissal from office, protects him against any arbitrariness in the variation of his or her salary and emoluments. Significantly, the Auditor General is not only to audit and report on the country's public accounts, but is also empowered to disallow and surcharge expenses. This power has only been operationalized by the current Auditor General, Daniel Yao Domilovo, with impetus from Occupy Ghana's advocacy and a secured Supreme Court judgment. This is exemplified in the Auditor General's disallowance and surcharge of former senior minister Yao Osafo Mafo in a $1 million Kroll and Associates contract for auditing investigation and a $184 million Ghana city surcharge on Zoom Lion Ghana over a failed fumigation contract. Both cases traveled all the way up to the Supreme Court, also in exercise of the right of persons so surcharged to seek redress in the courts. The office of the Auditor General is seen by many across the continent as a typical example of what a public accountability institution should be. Notwithstanding this, many are those who still ask for more protection for the Auditor General and particularly from political influence and control.